just for the sake of all. Why, hello there, fellow dinosaur nerds. Are you ready for an adventure? <sighs> Great! Today we're going to try and trick the internet with fake fossils. Um, yum, 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 yum. By having people guess on Facebook and Instagram on whether they think these are real fossils or fake fossils. Do you think we can do it? But first, we need to make them. And to do that, we are heading to Dinosaur Park. Right. To conduct research, make the fake fossils, make jokes of course, and bug this guy. In fact, this guy is the whole reason we are here. Two years ago, he was brave enough to ask me out. And so every year we celebrate by doing something dinosaur themed. But before we get started, Smash that like button and hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Let's go! This place is awesome! awesome. awesome. Drumheller has an incredible museum and a town filled with awesome tourist attractions. But... Dinosaur Park is not Drumheller, and it's posted everywhere! Dinosaur Park is a hidden gem far away from civilization, with more dinosaur fossils than resources to collect them. Literally every step you take, you're stepping on a fossil. Which makes it the perfect research spot for learning about fossils. Last anniversary? I forgot the marshmallows. <laughs> what am I going to forget this year? The tent? Um, I forgot the tent. Okay, at least we have a car. Before our first tour, do you think this is a real dinosaur fossil or a fake one? Post in the comments down below. And if you have no clue, don't worry, don't panic. We are going to learn about fossils to wow. the lab. Thanks to our incredible guides, we know in order to be considered a fossil, it has to be over 10,000 years old. Isn't that crazy? Thankfully, no one from the internet will know how old they are or how much they weigh. Did you know dinosaur bones are extremely heavy and fragile? Which is a huge giveaway between fake and real. Here's why. With the bones being so heavy and fragile, it's not possible to lift them in the air. Real bones require extreme structural support and white support jackets are a huge indication, which tells us this is fake, this is fake, and this is fake. But it's very cool how paleontologists are able to take the fractured pieces and figure out what the dinosaur used to look like. That's why a lot of dinosaur bones at the museums have glue in them. They're also cracked, look kind of woodish or like a rock because of all the minerals that replaced the bone over the years. That's why you can still see bone marrow. It looks like the inside of an arrow bar. There is so much more I could tell you about dinosaur fossils, but I think it's time to test your skills and see what you learned. It's time for a game of real, real or fake. fake. Can you beat the people on the internet? So, do you think this is a real fossil? Five, four, three, two, one. Mm. Nah. <laughs> The reason this is not a real fossil It's up in the air, meaning it's light, and a real fossil is not light. Do you think this is a real fossil or a fake fossil? Three, two, one. Okay, so this is actually a real fossil because it is covered. You can see the jacket that's around it to protect the fossil. And on top of that, you can see um, kind of the bone marrow and where they had to put glue to keep it together on like the side of the face. Can you figure, figure out this one? one? It's, it's not, not easy. easy. Three, two, one. It is both. Whoa! 
plot twist. Yes, so they tend to mix fake fossils with real fossils. So that way they can kind of get an idea what it looked like. And here they have real fossil actually inside the rock bed there. And then to show different pieces of it that you can't see, they've added fake fossils in there so you can get an idea. And that's why it's like laying down and not um, up in the air because this is super heavy. Plus dinosaur heads aren't usually found with their bodies. Well done explorers. Now. It's time to take drastic measures. <laughs> hey! Let's head to the lab. <laughs> we are so lucky the museum is allowing us to make a cast of the real fossil. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, the museum is too kind. They even made the silicone molds for us. So all we have to do is pour in the plaster. Easy. And then paint it. Ooh. We got like a little island going on. Well, now I'm going to have a plaster stain on my <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. See that plaster stain? It's like a white stain on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Having some pretty spicy plaster. <laughs> This is so, what's in the plaster? Uh, or, it's just plaster powder. It's the same stuff that dentists use to make those really ugly teeth molds. Oh, oh <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Dude, this would be fun to get some to make some. We should make some molds, like we should. Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert, there are multiple videos coming. You're welcome. Um, this one looks like my mom's cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it looks better than that. <laughs> yes! I did the trick. I did the trick. Oh! Magic! Magic. <laughs> I like tap, Bubbles. tap, tap. Now for the most exciting oh, part, so cool. the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I did not make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, these are so cool! Now we just need to paint them! I made my glow in the dark. It's a secret. Okay, Instagram, are you ready for me? Because here, here we come. come. Let's trick the audience. So this one is an Ankylosaurus, which is like the bony armor covering, which is super cool. And then this one, apologies if I'm not pronouncing this right, is a Gorgosaurus Woo! Claw. I just checked. That's right. Woo yes. And I'm hoping the plaster jacket will trick my experts in the crowd. Okay, internet, it's time for me to log on like a tree. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we have fake fossils, real fossils, and sage made it fossils. Let's see what the internet thinks. Round one. one. Is this a real Ankylosaurus osteoderm fossil? The audience thinks yes. Woo! We did it. We tricked them! High five, team! But these dinosaur experts are too smart. They got yeah. it! Woo! Round two and three! Our audience is too smart and rocked it! Look at them go! Last, Last round. round! Oh man, once again, our audience is too smart. We can't trick them! We may have not fooled the internet, but it was a fun trip and we learned a lot. High five team! And now that you know more about dinosaurs, what do you think? Is this a real fossil or a fake fossil? Or both? Post in the comments down below. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I can't wait to see you on my next adventure. <laughs>